Dear chess friends, welcome to Yazad of Chess Channel and welcome to a spectacular game that I prepared for you today that was played by the new world champion in chess, Ding Liren. And with this game, I still wanted to continue to celebrate his success in the World Chess Championship match against Jan Nepomniszczy this year uh, because I think Ding deserves all of our respect. His career was really awesome. He has played so many beautiful, attractive and aggressive chess games and this such a game I prepared here for you today. It was a beautiful and epic game played by Ding against Luke Shangli uh, back from 2012. And in this game, uh, I think uh, Ding showed his great skills first of all great opening theory then great tactical skills but also then a very really powerful power aggressive play then afterwards so in my opinion simply one of the best games played by the legend of our sport dingler and so let's check out now the game uh ding with the white pieces opened with the move knight to f3 lu shang lei with the uh, black pieces response was the knight to f6 we have now the move c4 with the english opening but after a couple more moves the game transposed into the queen's game declined uh, three knights variations so now basically in the next move black is always showing his cards uh, either he's going maybe into the semi slav structure he can go into the barman variation ragozin he can go into tarash ideas with c5 and similar stuff here in this game uh, lu shang lei played the move d takes c4 which is the so-called vienna variation and if you are interested into this opening more please check out our studies about the queen's game decline vienna variation in our queen's game decline playlist uh here's the link of our playlist please check it out i think you could have a great preparation from white and from black's perspective in this opening i myself like to play uh, this uh, vienna variation because it's a more dynamic approach of course many of these ideas c6 uh, maybe knight from b to d7 are more positional approaches with the move d takes c4 the game becomes already over the imbalance so many attacking opportunities for white but also a great counter attack possibilities here for uh for black in the game e4 of course white now occupies the center uh with these two connected pawns controls of course uh, for very important scores on the other side of the board so now comes the actual vienna variation idea the pin bishop to b4 and now the threat is to move knight to e4 you can do many many things you can even protect in some lines this pawn but actually the best line and the most aggressive line is to pick up the pawn on c4 allow your opponent to uh pick up the knight to uh, the pawn on e4 and now it's simply cast we'll get out of the attack because now lu shang lei played still the continuation the normal line uh with the move knight takes c3 and after b takes c3 again black has several choices what to do i faced many times this idea bishop to c3 and this is actually not good for black black will have many many problems now to develop the minor pieces if black goes now in these types of structures uh it's not so good because first we'll play rook to b1 and you have really really a tough time to castle if you castle then queen to d3 happens you have to step back look at this now knight to g5 you play something like g6 queen to h3 i really don't want to show you really all of the possible lines which is of course impossible to show but i want to to show how already already white can be very aggressive look at this black pieces have not developed at all the bishop is simply out of game the queen is a little bit paralyzed we have great great attacking resources in some lines i think we can even play rook list rook to b3 rook to g3 uh, getting the rook on a more active square we are having already checkmate threat so i really would not love to play this game anymore from black's perspective although black has some other possibilities but as i said these types of lines we have explained already in our uh, queen's game decline study so please check it out we have dived into deeper into these types of positions so in the game uh, lu shang lei play is the correct choice in my opinion bishop to e7 retreats has now an extra pawn but there is a huge issue here in black's position you don't have uh, so many peace defenders in front of the king you see many times you have the knight on f6 which is controlling g4 h5 the knight is always a great defender in front of the king now you're lacking in defenders and now look at this white slowly but surely builds a beautiful attacking formation so now ding goes with knight to e5 placed on a better score with the knight king side castle and queen to g4 and now the serious threat is of course bishop to h6 even in some lines immediately uh, uh, threatening a checkmate here on g7 and basically black 
has several choices king to h8 is good bishop to f6 is good knight to c6 is also good for instance uh, in the game in one game that i've also analyzed here my youtube chess channel between magnus carlsen and vladimir kramnik for instance vladimir played uh, this move bishop to f6 and after bishop to h6 knight to c6 the game transposed in this types of uh, structures now uh, magnus went with rook to d1 but now kramnik rerouted the knight on e7 and now he has great opportunities to defend further because as we said in the beginning you don't have so many peace defenders in front of the king so now in some lines you can even get the knight on g6 and you could have a compact setup you're still up a pawn and then maybe later you can break the position with the move c5 so then afterwards maybe it's time when you first settle your defense when you first defend this position then maybe you can break the position with the move c5 but what lu shang lei played here is a mistake immediately he played too aggressively already already uh here on the queen side he tried to open somehow the position and of course he's trying to get the knight on c6 then afterwards and then also to get the bishop on d7 or maybe even trade off the knight on e5 but this pawn move is simply too slow now look what uh ding is doing now he's playing of course the move bishop to h6 now you have to defend but as i said notice that you're always um, one tempo down that you could could have already played with the move knight to c6 as we said knight to e7 and maybe knight to g6 now you miss really this tempo because look at this the thing is simply regrouping now and he builds now enormous pressure he builds now a monstrous monstrous attacking formation here against black's king and now it's simply too slow here in the game rook to e8 uh, was played by uh, lu shang lei he's trying not to get uh, further pieces into the defense and he's trying also of course maybe to liberate some square for the queen maybe even get the queen on f8 in some of these lines but now comes a brilliant brilliant choice here by dingler and he played the aggressive f4 preparing a beautiful rook list rook to f3 and then rook to h3 when the rook comes into the game i'm not seeing good ways how uh white uh pardon me, black is going to defend this position for instance in this after move bishop to d3 of course it's not good here to take out the knight you cannot really do this because after d takes e5 you cannot uh, pick up here the bishop on d3 because you get checkmate you have to play something like g6 rook to d1 is going to happen so look at this this is already already bad game here for for black so as we said after move rook to e8 ding plays the beautiful uh f4 is preparing now rook to f3 and rook to h3 now g6 by lu shang lei and this is this is already already bad because i don't even think that black has here some decent chances to play anything here even if you play uh, something like uh, knight to c6 instead of a smooth g6 still it's a risky position because still we are continuing with our normal plan rook to f3 and now after move g6 afterwards still there is this possible tactical shot bishop to g6 here in this game uh, g6 was immediately played by lucian lei he didn't even include another defender into the game now uh dingler spots the tactic and he plays the immortal bishop takes g6 so is this throwing now the whole uh, whole pawn chain in front of black's king he's sacrificing now the bishop but look at this all of black's pieces are simply stuck on the for uh, on the eighth rank of course on the starting rank all of these pieces are so bad they're not participating in the game at all and now after move bishop to g6 of course you have to accept the challenge after g6 but now ding sacrifices another uh, piece here knight to g6 h to g6 queen to g6 the king has to step back and now a brilliant idea here by ding bishop to g5 this is the way to go because ding with this move is trying to open further the position uh, on the f file and he's also preparing now the dangerous rook to f3 and rook to h3 here lu shang lei has to accept the challenge with the move bishop to g5 even if you play something like rook to f8 here then still rook to f3 is going to happen you could maybe try the move e5 preventing maybe this idea to play the move rook to h3 this is dangerous but still with queen to h5 you have to step back then with rook to g3 the game is over look at this bishop to g5 for, for instance if you play in this particular position then again rook to h3 is going to happen there's nothing that can be done you can maybe include the bishop into the game but now check we play rook to h4 and now look at this i think you have to even sacrifice the queen for for the rook here although black has 
good material for the queen, but uh, look at this, the pieces are simply too far away from the action, the bishop on c8 is paralyzed by its own pawn, the knight has a tough time to get back into the game, the king is naked, we will eventually include uh, the rook maybe here on the e-file, I see a path maybe, rook to e1, rook to e5, rook to g5, Still, it's still a messed up game here for um, for black, so this is not working. So after move bishop to g5, that was the brilliant move here again by Ding. Uh, Lu Shong Lei plays the move bishop to g5. Now, of course, we play f takes g5. You don't want to trade off of the, uh, the queens when, the, when you're on the attacking side. After move f takes g5, now rook to e7. Lu Shong Lei is trying to control somehow the seventh rank, but now first the check by Ding. A beautiful, stunning check because you cannot even cover uh, with rook to h7 because you get immediately a checkmate. Rook to f8, queen to f8, and the queen to f8 is a beautiful, beautiful checkmate. Notice again, I'm pointing out here that all of the pieces of blacks are simply stuck on the starting sword. They have really, really never played so far in the game. So, after move queen to h6, of course, Lu Shonglei saw this tactic, so that's why he played king to uh, g8. Now, g6, a brilliant idea here by Ding. He's preventing rook to h7. Rook to h7 could solve many, many tactical problems on the h file, so that's why g6, a brilliant idea. And whatever you do, uh, here in the game, knight to d7 was played by Lu Shonglei, of course, you're getting more pieces in the defense. But even if you try e5, maybe you're preventing against something like, I don't know, rook to f3, rook to h3. You want, of course, to have your bishop controlling uh, the h3 square. Now, another beautiful possible move would probably happen. This wasn't played in the game, but I wanted to show you how really aggressive this attack by uh, Ding was. Now, for instance, rook to f7 is solving again the position. Again, white is winning the game. Look how really, really brutal this line is. After rook to f7, g takes f7, king to f7. Now this rather rook comes into the game. After king to e7, the queen is coming into the game. Queen to e5, queen to c5. Look at this, rook comes into the game. You have to step back and now with queen to f8, you get even checkmated here on the back rank. Really, really wild stuff. Look, still black is three minor pieces, uh, three pieces that are on the starting square. Still the queen is on d8 also, so really really stunning attack here by the England so g6 brilliant move preparing also as we said the move rook to uh, rook to uh, f7 so in the game uh, as we said knight to d7 by Lu Shongle. he tried now to include the new defender into the game now rook to f3 the preparation is clear rook to h3 now in the game knight to f8 even if you play queen to f8 uh, then as we said we have reached a similar position. We will simply take out the queen uh, and then, of course, continue with the pressure on the F file. We still have three connected passers here on the king side. So still a game over here for, for black. So after move rook to F3, here in the game knight to F8, played by Lu Shonglei, and now rook from A to F1. Uh, look at this. All of the pieces of whites are participating now in the attack. This is simply undefendable. So in the game, we have here knight to g6. And now a beautiful, beautiful again move by Ding Lern. He didn't want to take out immediately the knight with the check. He played first rook to g3. And after move knight to g6, uh, rook to, uh, pardon me, rook to g7. We have here rook to g6 by Ding Lern. And actually in this particular position, Lu Shanglei. Resign. Really, really, really wild stuff. Uh, let's see the possible continuation. Of course, if you play a rook to g6, then of course queen to g6 is going to happen. You have to play king to uh, h8, and now rook to f7 is threatening the checkmate. You have to play something like uh, king to queen to g8, controlling now the um, the h7 square. But now first the check. You have to cover now with the queen, and again look at this rook to h7, queen to h7. Of course, is winning simply the game here for for white. Really, really, really wild stuff. How? Ding control the game, but I really wanted to point you out, as I said, we have uh, discussed here this position, we have studied this Vienna variation here on my YouTube chess channel. The first mistake that uh, Lu Shong Lei played is the move c5. So as I said, if you're bothered by these types of positions with the black pieces, my recommendation is to first include defenders into the game, play bishop to f6 or maybe knight to c6 or king to h8 is also perfectly fine. Then reroute the pieces into the defense and now you could have some great chances. And we have analyzed, as I said also here on my channel, the game between um, Magnus Carlsen with the white pieces against Vladimir Kramnik in which Vladimir Kramnik with the black pieces destroyed Magnus Carlsen in these types of positions. So as I said, this is a better approach. Then afterwards you will eventually get your c5 move, but in the 
beginning you have to defend the position you have to regroup you have to get your pieces back and then when that happens you could have great counterplay chances uh, here on the queen side so okay interesting interesting game played by dingler and really one of his immortals for sure uh, in the continuation of my youtube chess channel i think we will cover more dingler in games there are really plenty of beautiful beautiful attacking brilliant games played by ding so uh it will be i think fun series here on my youtube chess channel so okay i hope that you enjoyed this game i really enjoyed it a lot because i reached many times this position with the white pieces also with the black pieces because i'm a d4 player and i play sometimes the Vienna variation of the Queen's Gambit decline. Again, I'm pointing out if you want to know more about the Queen's Gambit uh, and Queen's Gambit decline, please check out our studies. Here's the playlist, and you can have, I think, a great preparation also in different sidelines. And if you want to see more Ding Luren games, here's also the playlist of some games that we have analyzed before, played by Ding. And if you like this content, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. See you soon with some more videos, and chess is the best, of course.